All right, guys, this is the moment I've been waiting for for a full year now. First chance to make a Pompeii. All right, YouTube, this is a video that has been a year in the making. I've been super excited about revealing the ingredients for the Pompeii. Um, the Pompeii is just the absolute best snake that I made in 2018, and it actually took the internet by storm when it first revealed. It was, I can't take any credit for it. The animal is just amazing, absolutely amazing. And just a quick antidote, I never intended initially for the ingredients to be a secret. And in fact, when I first edited the video, um, I, uh, I, I planned on, I actually had the, all the ingredients on the screen and everything, and someone said, you know what, it kind of takes away from the moment of impact when you show the awesome animal, when you see all those ingredients, you're trying to figure it out, it's better just to show it with just the name. And so I went with that with the intention of showing the ingredient, telling the ingredients right after, um, but then the, just such, there was such a response from the internet and so many people guessing and having fun with it and trying to figure it out and like saying, ah, oh, why didn't you add that? I thought, wow, this is really awesome. We got to keep this going. We got to keep this uh, this suspense going here on this a little bit. So I'd always said I wanted to tell I wanted to tell as soon as possible. I wanted a chance to recreate it and kind of prove out the genes. And guys, that's what we've done. At the end of this video, we are cutting a clutch that is the exact same pairing as the Pompeii, um, and so we can see what came of it from this year, one year, one year later. All right. So without further ado, let's look at some of the footage from last time, and we'll get right into it. All right, so I've been looking forward to this video for a really long time, and we're gonna reveal the ingredients of the Pompeii. And to do a little bit of market research, do a little bit of understanding of what kind of goes into all this, we are at the Pompeii exhibit at the Reagan Presidential Library. Doing a little bit of background here, make sure to bring you the most information possible. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, so you see I'm serious about my research here, and this is it, this is the big reveal. He looks amazing, even one year later, absolutely incredible. He started breeding for me, so we have a lot to come in this project. Let's start breaking down these genes. Okay, let's break down the exact genetics of this snake. Um, it was something that so few people guessed early on, but as it kind of came out a little bit and people looked, really looked at it, a few people guessed the genetics pretty close or exactly right. So let's talk about what it doesn't have. And that, to me, what it doesn't have is the most exciting part of it. Um, because those are all genes that can be added to make this snake better. All right, what it doesn't have, it doesn't have orange dream. It doesn't have fire in it. Of course, it doesn't have coral glow, or it doesn't have vanilla, or any of the other enhancing genes in there, which means this snake right here can look a lot better. It can look a lot more bold and more orange, and I'm super excited about working that way. Okay, so the gene that almost everybody got right was spot nose. It is an amazing spot nose clown combo. Spot nose is what adds this really great pattern to it. But of course, when you're talking about a Pompeii, it's got to have some really, really genes in there that make it a lot like lava, right? So we start with the red stripe, of course, magma. So it's a spot nose, magma, spot nose, red stripe clown. Then we add in yellow belly, which gives it that crazy, crazy belly. A little bit of ringer there as well. That crazy belly and these flames are brought in by the yellow belly reacting with the spot nose. 
and the red striped clown. The red striped clown is what gives it so much extra texture on the side. Then the big one, the big X factor gene that so few people even thought of is, you know, what do you need in a good volcano? You need some soot, you need some darkness. And so we got the black pastel is the final kind of X factor gene in this that gave it the extra big boost of color and also the, the darkness necessary to bring out all this bold patterning from the other genes. So black pastel, yellow belly, spot nose, red stripe, clown is the Pompeii. And what a, what a combination that is. This is the moment I've been waiting for for a full year now. I wanted to do the Pompeii reveal video and connect it with when I have a clutch from the exact same pairing, my first chance to make a Pompeii exactly like a Pompeii again. Um, so let's check it out and let's see what we got. I haven't even looked at these yet, so it's gonna be a complete reveal for me too. Let's get them. All right, Chase, I'm excited, man. This is it. I know, I'm ready to see what's in it. All right, here it is. This is my excited hands, woohoo. All right, so we have the pairing here. Spot nose yellow bay, red stripe head clown, two black pastel clown. This is Chase's handwriting, just to, uh, to be 100% clear about that poem. She was bred three times, and uh, she gave me nine eggs. Looks like I said, I wrote that one of them had broken veins from what I could tell, and uh, we'll find out here what we got. Now it looked like a lot of heads were out earlier when I looked in the incubator. No, well, looks like they're all out. We got one that pulled it back in. Okay, so just right off, first impression, I don't see anything that looks like a Pompeii head because um, it has a very specific head pattern, unless it's that one right there that I can't see. But I see a lot of really interesting stuff. Looks like a spot nose did not hit on too many of the clowns either. See, they're trying to pull those heads back in. They cut such a small hole for their own head, and then they their jaw, once they get through, is, is too wide to pull it back out, so we'll give them a little help with that. Let's start with this guy. He's struggling. Hey. Let's get you freed up. Try to keep my camera here. Okay. This is a cool animal, though. Oh, you're still a little stuck. There. Okay. Wow. Okay, so man, these are awesome building blocks here. I So this would be a black pastel, red stripe, yellow belly, clown. So what this one is missing is spot nose. It's a spot nose away from a Pompeii. But you look at that, you can see the, the high, high red pattern in it. That is absolutely wicked. So it's got all the color, a lot of similar pattern, but the spot nose is what really like drives that pattern close together, makes it super bold and super, super pop. But that, that is an amazing snake right there. All you need is spot nose on that. You're there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that back. That's crazy. Okay. This one looks very similar as far as the head goes. Let's see what we got. Okay. So this one, no, he's still a little stuck. This one looks like a black pastel. Hmm. Oh, he's about ready to come out, it looks like. Um, oh, he is ready to come out, completely ready. Okay. I would say this is a black pastel um, red stripe clown, maybe, or just a nice, very bright black pastel clown. Really pretty. Chase, I'm going to hand this to you just to, because yeah. he's going to be roaming around the box now. That's cool. Gorgeous. Okay. So still, this is the snake to be right here still. Um, this one's definitely a clown head. Let's take a look at that. Okay. So this one is similar to the last one, I believe. So you have a black pastel. See, that one's much more red stripe looking. That's black pastel red stripe clown. This is actually a combo I've not seen by itself like this. Um, but it's pretty pretty clear to ID that for me from what I've seen. Okay, good little building block. 
You see how hard it is, even on a big, a good sized clutch like this, to get those right genes to come together into one snake. You know, the odds are just always going to be playing against you. All right, let's see the one that we haven't seen the head on yet. Let's see, maybe this is our, maybe this is our uh, ultimate snake right here. And it's just a het. All right. That looks like a black pastel, yellow belly, spot nose hat, I think. We got a lot of the jeans in there. Let's see this one. Uh, that is a regular clown. It could be red stripe, but that does not look like the red stripe clowns I'm used to seeing. So that is pretty standard. That is a yellow belly head clown. Nothing too fancy. This is a nice look. This is a nice spot nose head clown combo. I'm trying, buddy. Get you free. Here we go. That is a spot nose yellow belly red stripe head clown. I've been able to make a few of those, including the dad to this clutch, was this combo right here. Really, really cool. This is a powerhouse combination right there as a hat. Okay, and the last one. This is a, ooh, this is the whole deal. That's spot nose, red stripe, yellow belly, black pastel, hit clown. That's a, that is a Pompeii maker hat right there. That's the full deal. Really cool. Well, there you have it. That's the clutch, guys. This is the snake, the best one in the clutch. Just absolutely killer. I like that one almost as much as the Pompeii, but the, but the spot nose really, really takes that animal to the next level. And uh, like I said, it's hard to hit these combos, especially uh, especially when you're talking about recessive plus four codoms. But hopefully this year with the Pompeii breeding now, we'll have um, enough clutches to be able to reproduce it, and we will definitely let you guys know when we do. All right, guys, that was a lot of fun, and I've just been looking forward to this moment, this video now, for basically a full year. Um, I've just been looking forward to you, talking about the snake, what goes into it, and actually, I'm really, really shocked because even though I knew the Pompeii was amazing, I knew what was in it, what I didn't know is that the black pastel, yellow belly, red stripe clown was also absolutely wicked. Never seen that. That's incredible. And I like that because it kind of gives like a half step to the project. The Pompeii is going to be very hard to hit because we got the four codoms plus the recessive. But it's a little bit of an easier snake. Still incredible. We can still add some weird stuff to it to really enhance it. I'm excited. You can tell I'm excited. I'm jazzed about this. Come see us later this month. We'll be in the Arlington Show, NARBC. Tell us what snake you want us to bring. We're unlikely to bring any specific snake. We're going to bring a few really cool things for people to see. Probably a couple of this project. Come say hi. Come get a t-shirt. And we'll see you again next time, YouTube.